B'Shem Hashem Na'aseh V'Natziach This week's parsha is a double parsha of Matot Mas'eh We are in the three weeks of mourning over our holy temple in Yerushalayim The holy, the heart Yerushalayim is the light of the world and the heart of the Jewish nation There was uh, two tribes that belong to the tribe of Reuven and God. The tribes of Reuven and God had a lot of uh, cattle, sheep, and cows, etc. So they told Moshe that they, uh, the Transjordan, the east side of the Jordan, which is like the country of Jordan now, not in Israel po- proper, they wanted to settle there. And over here is a fascinating exchange between Moshe Rabenu. If you look in Shishi, the beginning of chapter 32 in the Torah, they saw that Gilad was a suitable place to raise cattle. And they, they, they basically said, if we would find favor of your eyes, let us move not across the Jordan. Moshe gets mad. He says, you guys are also not uh, loving the land of Israel like your forefathers. Then over here, they promise Moshe that they're going to fight at the beginning to help conquer the land, to help Yoshua conquer the land. And they, tell, they, they told Moshe that we will build here corrals for our sheep and cattle and towns for our children so here Rashi says that they paid more what did they mention first you know if you want a psychological secret into what people love And you want to see if, uh, you know, there's so many fakers into the world. If you want to find out into a person's mind's eye, the secret depths of what his soul cherishes, see what he praises. If he's always talking about sports cars, that's what he loves the most. Even if he professes that he loves Torah the whole day, but if every time you talk to him, he talks to you a half an hour, two hours about cars... So here, the tribe of Reuben and God, they made a fundamental mistake. Because they said we will build sheep folds, rooms for our sheep and cattle. So they paid more attention to their property than to their sons and daughters. Because they preceded saying first we will build uh, corrals for our cattle and our herd then Moshe Rabbeinu says your your priorities are mixed up, messed up not so you have to make the cardinal and chief thing the most important first you build cities for your wife and children and afterwards you should enclose your flocks and take care of your private property which is your cattle and sheep and this is truly something that breaks my heart because I've dealt with it and if you don't understand if you if if we in today's day and age the year 5781 2021 make the same mistake because history repeats itself as the tribes of Reuven and God and Chatzim Menashe, then we're doomed, God forbid. Because too often we find in our own community people are willing to sacrifice their children to have a mansion. Instead of sending their kids to Jewish school, the only, in today's age and age, millennials have a 70% or higher rate of intermarriage. The only thing 
that we can guarantee you know that's that famous charge chart by my good friend Gordon Anthony and Mr. Dick Horowitz, the international president of Asia Torah, the number one key to Jewish survival is an orthodox Jewish education from first to twelfth grade. But yet so many people, I tried starting a Jewish school here in Santa Monica, and frankly people would rather drive a BMW and Mercedes Benz than spend the money on, it's true, it's backbreaking, the amount of money we need to spend on Jewish education, but it's worth it. It's the best investment of all time because at least you'll know that your children are going to end up Jewish and not bringing a shiksa home, which is the worst than the Holocaust. Right now in America, it was July 4th a few days ago, but there's a spiritual Holocaust where I would not be exaggerating to say tens of millions of Jews are not Jewish anymore because of assimilation in the last 200 years that the America has been one of the number one location of the Jews. And it's so sad to see people caring more about their money and their car and their house and wanting a super fancy car and house while they're fools because it's, they're making the same mistake as the tribes of Ruvain and God. But the mistake in this exile, which we're going to cry day and night for, the nine days are coming right up, is going to be Rosh Chodesh on Shabbat. It's really, really sad because it's a matter of Jewish survival. If you give more priority to luxurious and superfluous show-off stuff, yes, everybody has a limited amount of money. The question is, do you have your priorities straight? Do you want your children and grandchildren to be Jewish? Then live a more moderate lifestyle and care about your Jewish future more than the luxury of your real estate and your show-off house and your show-off car and your show off Gucci, Vajushi, and Fedushi, all these different nonsense stuff. Because that's nothing. And to go on a deeper level, it's Baruch Hashem every day I learn Mishnah with my son. So many times the time that we spend with our children is it all about caring about the best college they go to and training them to take over our business or do we learn with them? My Rebbe, Rab Tzvi Berkowitz Shlita says, if ever your child asks to learn Torah with you, throw anything and everything away and run and learn with him because that's the most glorious and special moment that you could do in your life. So in life, every morning we say, Modani. You have to ask ourselves, what am I, a money-making machine? And my money is more important than my neshama and my children. Psychologically, that's where the tribe of Reuben and God were. Moshe chastises, reprimands, and provides reproof and rebuttal to their values and says, no, one has to put his number one priority on his children. Now is the summer, the children are off. One should have a goal to finish all of the Mishnayot Shas with his children by his bar mitzvah, like my Rebbe did. And you could, you, you put five minutes every day, including Shabbat and Sundays, from when your child is seven, eight years old, you'll finish all of Shishay Sidre Mishnah. The, the key is what's your priority with your life? Is it the money or your children? It is such a glorious thing to have the honor of to learn. The stifler says not only should one learn Mishnah and Torah with his kids, he should learn Musr. The Mesilat Yesharim or more basic stuff like Pirke Avos or Orchat Sadikim, the younger the kids are. And that's what Moshe Rabbein was teaching us in this week's parsha.
Invest in your children, because that's those are gonna. If God forbid, even if you end up living a life that has a lot of mistakes, and you let, end up in Gehinom, through the good actions of your children, they could elevate their parents out of saying Kaddish and living a life of Kiddush Hashem and Tahara and Torah. And always, always our children, their spiritual well-being, that's what we should invest our time and money in, not our personal belongings, because believe me so, I've seen in my personal life so vast amounts of money could easy come, easy go. But the only thing that lasts is what we, our self-perfection of our soul. Softavara kol dishma et Elohim iravit mosetav shemor kizedu kol adam shabbat shalom.